Welcome to New Jersey, the Garden State. Whether you're flying in or road tripping across the USA, I've got everything you need to make your trip unforgettable. From where to stay and how to get around to the best things to see, do, and even some insider tips, this guide has you covered. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps support my channel so I can keep making more videos for you. So let's dive in and get fist pumping. Now the Jersey Shore doesn't necessarily have the best reputation. If you've seen the TV show Jersey Shore, you might think that's not for me, but let me tell you, it is. With New York and Philadelphia and the surrounding areas, New Jersey often gets overlooked. But with its beautiful beaches, lively boardwalks, and endless entertainment, the Jersey Shore has lots to offer for every traveler. The towns along the shore are genuinely beautiful and charming, which is exactly why so many New Yorkers choose it as their go-to escape from the city's hustle and bustle. So where should you stay? Well, Seaside Heights and Long Beach Island are some of the most popular spots, but some other options are Cape May, which is known as the nation's oldest seaside resort. It's known for its beautiful Victorian architecture, and most places are open all year round, too. For travelers on a budget, chain hotels like Holiday Inn or Fairfield Inn are common around Newark and Atlantic City. Prices range from $80 to $150 a night. Or stay in Hoboken or Jersey City for easy access to New York City, these areas offer more urban vibes with stunning skyline views. And of course, you have the resorts in Atlantic City, like Borgata or Hard Rock Hotel, which provide casino fun and oceanfront luxury for $300 plus per night. There's some really nice hotels in AC and plenty of dress nice restaurants, but I'd recommend only staying there if you like gambling or want a mini Vegas vibe, to be honest. Or for a cozy alternative, check Airbnb for beachside cottages along the shore. Getting around New Jersey is pretty easy. NJ Transit offers trains and buses connecting major cities, and PATH trains are great for traveling to and from New York City. Renting a car is essential if you're exploring the Pine Barrens, Cape May, or rural areas. Uber and Lyft are widely available here, and many towns have bike rentals and scenic trails, especially near the Jersey Shore. Stretching over 140 miles, the Jersey Shore offers plenty of things to do, with its pristine beaches, family-friendly boardwalks, and nightlife. Asbury Park is one of the Jersey Shore's best beaches. Whilst you're there, you can enjoy a show at one of the town's famous music venues or stroll down the historic boardwalk. Or enjoy live music and a cold beer at the House of Independence or experience rock and roll history at the Stone Pony, a local venue that served as a launching point for Jersey legends such as Bruce Springsteen and John Bon Jovi. Head to Atlantic City, famous for its casinos, nightlife, iconic boardwalk, and visit Steel Pier for rides and attractions. Cape May is a charming seaside town with Victorian architecture, dolphin watching tours, and the iconic Cape May Lighthouse. I'd absolutely recommend taking a stroll around as it's a really beautiful area. And for the Jersey Shore TV show fans, head to Seaside Heights to relive your favorite moments from MTV's Jersey Shore. You can visit the original house where the cast lived, take a photo outside, and enjoy the iconic Seaside Heights boardwalk. Stop by Beachcomber Bar for a taste of the nightlife they made famous. But seriously though, even if you aren't a fan of Jersey Shore, a visit to Seaside Heights is a must. I love it here, and I'd absolutely recommend it. And I have to mention the food. Boardwalk food is the best. Makuro's Pizza is amazing. Try their tomato pies, they're delicious. Jimbo's Bar and Grill is also great for cheesesteaks and pizza. For breakfast, get the Taylor Ham Egg and Cheese Sandwich. It's the classic New Jersey breakfast staple. And let me know in the comments if you call it a pork roll or Taylor Ham. It's a big thing here. Okay, so here's a few tips to make your trip hassle-free. If you're visiting Jersey Shore, you're probably looking to visit a beach or two, but keep in mind that you do have to pay to use the beach. I know, I know. But if you wait till 5 p.m., the beach is free. And visit the beaches midweek to avoid weekend crowds. Jersey Shore puts Seaside Heights on the map so it can get pretty busy, but other spots like Point Pleasant Beach are perfect for families and quieter beach days. And if you love shopping, you'll be happy to know that shoes and clothes are tax-free throughout New Jersey. So that's all, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you plan your trip better or even inspired you to visit. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.